New for you tonight at 5.30, we have a look inside one of the manufacturing plants that gave the Brass City its nickname. The old Chase Rolling Mill building sat empty for years, but as Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo tells us, it is getting a makeover and the community is getting a say in what happens next. Even the shiniest brass tarnishes after a while. It looks bad. It's been there forever. The same can be said for the factories that once rolled and riveted it. Nothing has been done for so long. Longtime residents of Waterbury's Crownbrook neighborhood are used to the Chase Brass Rolling Mill on North Main Street. Broken windows and cracks in the boarded up walls, letting the building's glimmer escape with every passing year. The longer it sits, it's just going to continue to get worse. Bringing the spit and polish back to the six-story building is going to take work. The Neighborhood Housing Services of Waterbury is developing a plan to convert the crumbling brick into a jewel for the Crownbrook community. It's going to have some housing units of probably about 90 plus, and there's going to be two floors of commercial space. They're hoping to start construction on this building in the next four to five years. When it's completed, residents will have a great view of anywhere in the city. The building has a lot of um, water damage and it's in complete disrepair. Part of getting down to brass tacks means asking the community what types of businesses they'd like to see on the bottom two floors. Because at the end of the day, they're going to be the users of this space. NHS already held one meeting asking for input, and they're planning another one in the coming months. Something for this community, you know, to make it a little better than what it is. In Waterbury, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.